This is John Davis, Wild Ways Trekker, Rewilding Earth Editor in the Hilo Wilderness at Lily Park on a wonderful trip with my good friends George Davis, Kristen Calden, and Dave Parsons. We have come here, led by Dave, to look for sign of lobo, of Mexican wolf. We have found a lot already. We found tracks and scat many places. This is where Mexican wolves were first released in this general area, and Dave Parsons is going to talk to us about the Mexican wolf recovery program. And Dave, tell, me, tell us a little bit about the Lobo recovery program here in the Gila Wilderness and beyond. The first releases of the Lobos in the Gila Wilderness were in the year 2000. Those were not the first releases to the Southwest. Those took place in 1998 over in Arizona, and more releases over there in 99. And for the first time uh, we got the authority to release wolves in the Gila wilderness was in the year 2000. We packed those wolves in here on mules to abide by the wilderness rules of not using mechanized transport. We got the wolves in that evening, the rest of the crew left that next morning and I stayed in to be the person monitoring those wolves uh, to see when they came out of the pen. And they came out pretty quickly, actually, in a, within a couple of days. I was sitting in camp in a chair much like this, just enjoying the evening. It was late dusk, almost dark, when a very close range, loud howl came off the hill right next to me, uh, taking my breath away, more or less, but reminding me that uh, they, in fact, had left the pen. And then as I strained to see what was making that howl, it walked across in front of me at maybe 30 yards and it was just a dark silhouette in the ponderosa pine forest but it was a very special moment that was the first time wolves had roamed free in this country in probably 50 years dave would you say something about how the mexican wolves are doing today how the recovery program has proceeded we just had the annual count for the end of 2017 and the numbers came in at 114 wolves uh, the wolves are doing fairly well in terms of their uh, ability to uh, live and survive in the wild. They've proven that there's that's not a problem for wolf recovery. The numbers are way lower than we expected by now when we planned the program back in the 1990s. Uh, some of that has to do with uh, human-caused mortality, especially poaching, and a little bit of it might have to do with the uh, genetic uh, paucity in the wild population. Uh, there have been a number of uh, of pushbacks from various factions that would rather not succeed wolf recovery, not see wolf recovery succeed, uh, but those have been uh, overcome more or less, where the wolves are still being released and uh, the numbers uh, are growing. Although they not much between last year and this year, we hope to see a better year this year, more pup survival and less human-caused mortality. What needs to be done to restore Mexican wolves? What's, what needs to be done to make this a true, full success story? Well, to start with, we need plans in place that would lead to having far more wolves in far more places. We were just disappointed by the most recent recovery plan that limits wolf recovery to just this general area that we're sitting in and nowhere else in the United States Southwest. Uh, other areas had been proposed by scientists and those were ignored by the agency. So uh, the numbers being proposed for full recovery, uh, we believe, are way low. Uh, lawsuits have been filed over the su legal and scientific sufficiency of that recovery plan, as well as an earlier uh, rule that was put out in 2015. So we need to get the uh, agency to use the, the best science that's available to get the numbers right on recovery. The other main issue is the genetic integrity. Uh, the wild population is uh, highly inbred genetically, uh, whereas the captive population has a great deal of genetic diversity left that has not been successfully uh, placed out into the wild. Uh, there are new proposals to try to uh, get more wolves out with the right gen genetic makeup from captivity. But again, that's being pushed back on by various factions that would rather not see the, the program succeed. We need to put pressure on the agency to make sure that 
the more wolves with more genetic diversity out, the other critical issue is getting a handle on the human cause mortality and the poaching rate on wolves. Uh, so uh, better law enforcement, better uh, rules in place for prosecuting for people who shoot wolves would be uh, one path to hopefully lower human cause mortality.